Hey, it's Walt. Hey, I mentioned earlier in the earlier video that I'm working in Poland. I'm going to be here for about six weeks and uh, I'm in a great situation. I'm in a house with a big backyard. I live in a HOA situation at home. So there's a lot of antennas that I can't build in the States that I've had the opportunity to do here. One kind of experimental antenna that I uh, wanted to play around with was a helical vertical antenna. Here's what happened. I've done a lot of study on vertical antennas and I keep running across the 33 foot vertical. So I wanted to try that, but what I have with me is a 16 foot high telescopic pole. So I figured what I would do was try to take those 33 feet and wrap them around the 16 foot pole that I have. Here's my original plan and the way I would set this thing up. The plan is to use the 16 gauge cheap speaker wire that I brought with me, a real inexpensive four to one unun I got on Amazon, along with my 16 foot vertical pole, the surf rod holder that I take everywhere with me, and then the uh, 25 foot of coax that I also have. Okay guys, here it is. It's one of the counterpoise wires. I have five of them cut at about 16 feet each. There's no magic formula for the five counterpoise wires it's just how much wire i had left over to make to make the ground plane or the counterpoise wires i should say for the ground out of so i've got them kind of in a star with the coax uh splitting them up over to my zygu g90 and that's my life po for battery so i've got the uh i have a surf rod holder this thing's been everywhere with me man um I got it in the ground pretty deep. The ground's a little frosty this morning, but it kind of went in. Here's the magic. I guess we'll call it magic. We're going to see. There is 33 feet of 16 gauge speaker wire running up a 16 foot long telescopic fishing pole or crappy pole, as they call it, all the way to the top. And uh, I'm going to go check it out now. And let's go see what it'll do. Um, had to experiment a few times. Basically, each wrap is about an inch or 25 millimeters if you're keeping score at home. But uh, yeah, there it is. Oh yeah, and by the way, there's the four to one unun. That's a cheap four to one unun also, as I just threw it in the bag and flew with me. But anyway, here it is. Let's go check it out. SWR on every band is through the roof here. I think we might swap out the four to one for a nine to one, see if that helps. Okay, okay, the unun swap out is complete. Let's try this again. Okay, we're getting closer. This is 20, 20 meters, and I think we can tune that. That's a little 2.6, but maybe we can get a tune out of it. We'll give it a shot. Here's the final setup that I came to. It's basically the same as before. I am using five counterpoise wires, and now with the nine to one unun. This thing tuned up great on every band from 10 meters up to 40 meters. Here's some of the amazing uh, signal reports I got. Really great contacts. Okay, Eagle 4, Oscar, Gulf, Oscar, many thanks. Walter, now copy. You, you was a five and nine defeat by the response, strong flattery sometimes. You reached John in the city of Bologna, QSO. Yes, hello, nice to meet you, my friend. Uh, Sierra Papa Flux Kilo 4, Oscar Go, Oscar. Good morning, my name is Frank. Uh, Fox uh, Radio Alpha and November K. And the uh, Frank Nan Plus, uh, 5 and 9, uh, picking the plus at uh, 10 over 9 here in Spain, you know? I, I gotta tell you, Walt, the, uh, the whole crew, uh, the whole crew in the there, and the, uh, the G90, which, uh, which I always smile when I, when I hear people on them, uh, you know, uh, 20 watts, uh, 20 watts is doing the job really, really well. The audio quality is very, very good. Even when the QSB comes in on you and starts to pull you down, the audio just uh, just uh, continues to be up out of the noise, uh, even though the signal disappears. But uh, it sounds great. And, uh, okay, Super Papa, stroke Kilo 4, Oscar Gold, Oscar, uh, you're 5 by 7, 57, QSL. Uh, QSL, QSL, you're five nine. I'm in the north of Poland. I'm an American working uh, portable up here. Just twenty watts in a vertical, and you are you're five nine, five nine for sure. 
Yeah, sure, Roger. Uh, doing a wonderful job with the, uh, the 20 watts uh, into a uh, into a vertical. Uh, the name on this side is Sven Sierra Victor Echo November. Uh, could I get the name for in the lot, please, Over. Yes, yes. The name here is Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. Roger, Roger, Walt. Uh, doing a wonderful job. Using my transceiver's internal ATU, I could tune this thing up and get strong signal reports on every band from 10 to 40. And what was really exciting was crossing the Atlantic and making that QSO uh, over to the United States on 20 meters. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Hey, maybe even ring the bell. Uh, I've got more videos coming. I'm going to be here in Poland for a few more weeks. There's a few more antennas I want to build, and uh, after that I'll get home. Back to my normal uh, working portable on the beaches and the coastlines. Until next time, this is Walt, Sierra Papa, stroke Kilo 4, Oscar Golf Oscar, 73.